Hey, what's up guys, it's Dukester. Today I'm gonna to be doing a car duplication glitch where you can duplicate a car that you have in your garage or your friend does. So all you need is an empty spot, a bike, and the car you wanna duplicate or if your friend wants to duplicate it. So what you need to do is set your bike on passengers only and drive out and have your friend who's waiting outside hop on the back. You're gonna to wanna to drive about 180 degrees to about where I am. Tell your friend to continuously press the left bumper and tell him to just not stop, just keep pressing it. He needs to uh, pull out a gun and put it back in just continuously. Then you're going to want to go back in your garage. You're going to want to grab the car that you want to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate the Z-Type because my friend kind of wanted to drive that around a little bit. So all you got to do is get in it and drive it out. It'll take a minute to drive it out, but once you get out there, what you're going to do is you're going to park it pretty much next to him. This is similar to the money glitch, just instead of him killing you, you're going to be killing yourself. So what you're going to do is once you drive out, go about where I am, just park next to him, and then kill yourself. What you're going to do is just go down there and pay to kill yourself. Once you do that, you're going to respawn. It'll take a minute to respawn, but once you do, tell your friend that he can step off the bike, and then right when he steps off the bike, you'll see that a car icon comes up. It should be behind me. When you see it, do not go, go get into it. Go get into the one that you were duplicating in the first place. Just leave that one back there. Go get in that one and drive that a good distance away and try not to crash like I do. I kind of did a spin out right there. But just go drive it far enough away so you can call in another car. Go pull up your internet on your phone and call, um, buy a Karen Rebel. You, you can replace it with a car or you can put it in an empty slot, whichever one you have. It doesn't really matter. But what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to buy it. Then after you buy it, you're going to want to back out of the internet. So right here I'm backing out. Then you're going to want to call your mechanic and have him deliver the Karen Rebel to you. When he delivers the Karen Rebel to you, you're just going to want to wait there until it spawns. It'll take a sec to spawn after I call it in. But mechanic pick, my mechanic picked up, called it in, and now I'm just kind of admiring my car, spinning around it. And eventually it will pop up should pop up in front of me pretty soon or behind me yeah in front of me so you can see it popped up right there just ignore it and you're going to want to drive back up to your apartment now your car is duplicated just drive this back up into your garage and when you get back in there you'll have two of these cars so you can see that i'm driving in right now and don't be alarmed if when you get in there and you get out it disappears like mine will pretty soon that just means you did the glitch really fast and it still needs to register like you can see that I'm getting out of my car and it just disappears. That's perfectly normal. When you see the icon in the bottom right on top of your map that says your Karen Rebel is here, like it is right now, that means that it finally came. It was just a delayed part of the glitch, but it still works. Now you have two fully workable Z-types or whatever car you duplicated, so that is really good. You can sell them. It won't sell for the same price, but I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.